going to share with you my top secret tips for staying motivated. Hi, I'm Jen, doctor of physical therapy and huge proponent of the carnivore diet. If you're new here, I am delighted to meet you. You know those people that work out every single day, never cheat on their diet, read like a hundred books a week, build a successful business, blah, blah, blah. And when you see them, do you think, I could never do that. I just don't have that kind of motivation. Well, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. They are not that motivated either. Nobody has motivation like that every single day. You cannot rely on motivation for long-term success. When you're very first starting out with something new, like let's say you decide to try a carnivore diet or you wanna to go to the gym and work out five days a week, at the beginning, you probably will be motivated, maybe for the first few days or even the first few weeks. But one day, you're gonna wake up and be very tired or not feel great or have some other conflicting thing going on and you are not going to wanna to go to the gym. Or maybe the craving for a donut is just too strong when donuts show up at the office and you fall off your carnivore diet. After an initial failure, you might be able to get back on track and get back some motivation again, but trust me, it's not gonna last forever. Many people are actually aware of this that you can't rely fully on motivation and they say that you have to create habits and rely on those but in my opinion making these things a habit still doesn't quite hit the mark here's why have you ever had that experience where you just moved homes and one day after work you're driving home but you accidentally start driving to your old place you realize your mistake you face palm yourself and you head on to your actual home well that is an example of a habit your body just completely takes over when your brain does not have to make any decisions your brain is not working at all your body is working on autopilot but when you have to make a conscious decision about something, you can't rely on habit. Let's revisit the diet idea. If you go to a restaurant and you're on a carnivore diet, you're going to have to look over the menu and choose something that you can eat that's an animal product. You can't rely on habit to make the right choice because you actually have to think it through and make some sort of conscious decision. Some days if you're motivated, that may not be a problem. But again, you're not going to be motivated every day and some days you're just gonna want the pasta and wine. The idea of building a habit works a little bit better for exercise, but again, it's still not quite perfect. But you can try to incorporate exercise into small habits like setting your alarm for 5 a.m., leaving your running shoes out by the bed and things like that. But some mornings you're gonna wake up and not feel your best or not had a great night's sleep the night before or maybe the baby's up and crying or maybe you have a big meeting at work that day. Whatever the excuse, something is going to come up that's going to make you not wanna do your morning workout. And if you're not feeling particularly motivated that day, you're probably not going to pivot and get it done at another time your workout is likely not going to get done. Those are some reasons why neither motivation nor habits are quite enough to keep you moving toward your goals, especially the big ones that last a lifetime. Let me run a couple of other life situations by you though. I bet you never go a day without performing basic hygiene tasks, feeding your dog, or picking up your children from school. These tasks are not exactly fun or convenient to do every day, but you do them anyway. Whether or not you're motivated to do them, is not even a consideration because you don't have a choice. And that, my friends, is the secret. You've got to decide your minimum basic daily tasks that you want to complete to help you move toward whatever goals that you have in your life. Decide what those are, give yourself no other option, and do not allow yourself to opt out of them ever. There should never be a decision about whether or not you do those things. You just do them. For me personally, one of my minimum basic rules for myself is that I follow a carnivore diet. So that means I only eat animal products. Anything else that is not an animal product, like donuts or ice cream, or I suppose even vegetables or something, those things are not food to me. And when I think about eating any of those things, it's the equivalent of how I would feel about eating something like dog food or a candle. It might be pretty or smell good or it may be edible and not really gonna hurt me, at least not in the present moment, but it is not food for me. I do not eat it under any circumstances, no excuses, no option. I used to have a lot of distress around food when it came to things like going on dates or traveling or going to a party, having some event at work, anything like that where I wasn't totally in charge of what food would be there. But now those things don't bother me at all. If there's food there that I can eat that's carnivore food, then I eat it. And if there's not, then I just don't eat or I figure out a way to get myself something that I can eat. This may sound restrictive, but truly it is one of the most freeing things I've ever experienced. When it comes to exercise, I learned a lot from completing 75 hard and then the whole live hard program. 
During that program, you have to work out twice a day for 45 minutes each time every single day for 165 days out of a 365 day year. So it's a lot of exercise. At first, you feel like you don't have time because who has time for two workouts a day? But as you get used to it, you figure out how to prioritize your schedule and set your daily targets so that you can get everything done. It becomes easy to do because you don't have a choice. If you want to finish the program, you do all of the tasks. If you don't do them, you don't finish the program. Now that I'm finished with the program, I don't work out twice a day every single day, but my minimum basic requirement for myself is to work out at least 30 minutes every single day. Most days I go to the gym, but some days, if for some reason that doesn't work out, I maybe do yoga in my apartment or go for a walk or something like that. Let's say I'm traveling, then sometimes my workout is 30 minutes of walking around the airport. I've actually even resorted to doing resistance band training in the car. Please hear me, I am not trying to say that I am great and wonderful and just have it all figured out. But I've learned a lot along the way because this used to be something I struggled with. I spent many years setting goals for myself specifically related to diet and exercise and I would start off really motivated and really excited and then I would just completely crash and burn and I would be humiliated and I'd cry and cry and could not figure out why I couldn't stay motivated when other people could. I read books about motivation and building habits and all sorts of things like that, but nothing ever stuck. That is until I learned this technique, which is figuring out your minimum basic tasks that you have to complete and do not give yourself an option not to do them. Again, I know this may sound restrictive, but I'm telling you, if you can just reframe that mindset and give it a try, you might find that this is one of the most freeing things you've ever done. I hope that you found this useful and maybe even motivational. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and catch me on Instagram where we can chat every day.